Hey guys, Steve Forbes, British Speed Shop. Gonna try to show you how to time a Triumph motor. This one right here is a Triumph 500 with a Joe Hunt Magneto. Now I've already done a couple of things. I've already used a timing wheel and I've already marked my alternator. But I'm going to show you how to do this anyway. This is a 72 motor and the timing plug is located right here. Now on the crankshaft there's a little notch in the crankshaft to let you know where the top dead center is. Triumph makes a tool but you don't, I mean you can it makes it real easy or you can use a little screwdriver here. I've already marked my alternator top dead center and 38 degrees before top dead center with the timing wheel. Now we're going to stick the little screwdriver in and you're going to feel real gently the notch. And I'm having a difficult time. There it is right there. Now once you feel that notch, you know you're at top dead center. I've also marked my little rotor here to make it easy for me. Now you're going to pull your screwdriver out of the little notch. We're going to rotate it back 38 degrees before top dead center. Boom. Now my crankshaft and my pistons are setting about 3 eighths, maybe half an inch before top dead center. Now we're going to flip around and take a look at the magneto. Here's your rotor. It's attached to the crankshaft. Here are your points. Now I've put this little piece of paper in here between the points to give you some idea of what we're looking for. We want to be able to pull this piece of paper out. Or in other words, we want the points to open at 38 degrees before top dead center. So we know we're at that spot on the other side. Now we're going to rotate this magneto backwards until we're able to pull this piece of paper out. There you go. Now once you can pull that little piece of paper out, you want to lock your magneto down. and fire up. A couple things you want to check is the gap inside the points. When they're fully open you want to check that gap. I think Joe Hunt's specifications is 0 .015, 0 .012. You have to check but you want to check that gap. You also want to check the gap in your spark plugs. That one's 0 .08, 0 .018. That spark plug looks a little grungy. We'll have to see what's going on there. But anyway, once you get that little piece of paper to pull out, 38 degrees before top dead center, the bike should fire up first kick every time. Lock your magneto down. You don't really want to take your magneto off. But if you do, there's a little coupling in here that attaches to the shaft. And it's once you get it in the right position, you want to go through the timing process. You may not get it on the first time, you may have to play with it. But that's how you time a triumph. Basically, that's how you use it with the electronic ignition. They're all the same. Those have little white dots, makes it a little bit easier. But these magnetos, you can get home with a Magneto. Steve Forbes, British Speed Shop. You can find me on Facebook. We do BSAs, Nortons, you name it. 
as you can see, I kind of like Triumphs, Magnetos. New school, too. Steve Forbes, Facebook, British Speed Shop, Scottsdale, Arizona. Have a good day.